it all started about 10 years ago. When the infection broke out, no one knew what to do. The government searched for a cure, but they were unsuccessful. A few years later, the new order was formed. They called for a mass extermination of the unclean. This disease, everyone believed it to be incurable. It starts with a slight cough, then it worsens. Five years of suffering, a long and painful death. One day, they stormed into my classroom. They took me along with half the class, and we were sent to cleansing camps. They told us that we were going to be cured, but we all knew what that meant. I was the only one to escape. I came out here. Part of me enjoys being out here. It's quiet, peaceful. You see, when this all happened, I wasn't sure what plants were safe to eat. I learned the hard way sometimes. Every once in a while, I could find some fresh meat. Other times, not so lucky. You'd think that finding food would come easier after doing it for so long. But it doesn't. I get so sick of the cans. <coughs> I never really appreciated the things I had until they were gone from me. She was my everything. And now, I'm nothing. Being out here for three years teaches you things. Sometimes I go days without hearing my own voice. There's no use for it. No reason. You'd think that you would at least see someone, but no. I use twigs for firewood. You have to keep them small out here. If I've learned anything from being out here, it's these three things. One, water is your best friend. Two, a night without a fire is no fun at all. And three, stay away from the white coats. I'm <laughs> sorry.
They tried to stop me from going back. And for a moment, I believed them. I listened. But I can't stay out here forever. It's not who I am. I have to go back. For her. <laughs>